Okay, so question 12 of the non-calculator paper says on the grid draw a graph of y equals 3x plus 2 for values of x from minus 2 to 2. This is really key. If I draw my graph that goes beyond these values, then I will lose some marks. Um, I know that the graph is going to be a straight line. So when I plot my coordinates, if they don't make a straight line, I will uh, have to check either my calculations or where I've plotted the coordinates. I know that the x values are going to go from minus 2 to 2, so my scale is worked out there. What I need to do is find out my y values, and this is often best done with a table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a table where I choose values for x and I work out values for y. So I know my x values are going to go from minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. And now what I have to work out values of y. And the equation tells me how to calculate these. It's best to start where the x values are positive. I think you're less likely to make a mistake if you do that. So when x is 2, 3x will be 6. And if I add 2 to that, it will be 8. So y is going to be 8. When x is 1, 3x is going to be 3 times 1, which is 3, plus 2, which is 5. When x is 0, 3 times 0 is nothing. If I add 2 to it, I get 2. It gets a bit more tricky now, so I have to be a bit more careful with the negatives. When x is minus 1, 3 lots of minus 1 is minus 3. Add 2 takes me to minus 1. And for the final one, when x is minus 2, 3 lots of minus 2 is minus 6. Add 2 is minus 4. You can do a little check here now as well, because if you have a look at the values of y, they go up by 3. I add 3 and add 3 and add 3 and add 3. The values of y are going up by 3 every time, so that gives me a nice feeling that my calculations are probably correct. So I know that. My x values go from minus 2 to 2, and my y values go from minus 4 to 8. And on this graph paper here now, I've got to choose a scale that will fit as much as this as I, as I can. So then if I look at the squares in the y direction, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22 squares. So I won't be able to fill the whole of it. Uh, and from minus 2 to 2, I've got uh, 1, 2, 5 values, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I've, I'm going to roughly do two squares for each one, I think, in the y value, in the x value. Um, so let's just choose a scale. I'm going to go, if I choose zero, the y-axis is going to be down the centre. It's going to be down the centre because minus 2 and 2 are equal side of, either side of it. So I'm going to do minus 1, minus 2 here, plus 1, plus 2 here. Every 2 squares is a value, so 0 along here. And for the y values, I'm going to go, if I start here, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0. So that will be my 0 line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There you go. So I'm going to draw my y x-axis here. My values are every 2, so this is 1. 2, minus 1, minus 2. My uh, y values go minus 2, minus 4, 2, 4, 6, 8. And now I'll be able to draw my graph. It's important you label these axes. In fact, it's worth a mark. If you don't say that this is the y-axis and you don't say that this is the x-axis, you will lose some marks. But we've calculated when x is y minus 2, y is minus 4. So that's this point here. When x is minus 1, 
y is minus 1. So that's this point here. When x is 0, y is 2. So that's this point here. When x is 1, y is 5. x is 1, y is 5. So that's this point here. When x is 2, y is 8. When x is 2, y is 8. And these lines I know should form a straight line because there are no powers in my equation. If I line my ruler up, they form a nice straight line. So if I draw between these points, I get all the marks. Let me emphasize again. If you draw a line beyond this coordinate here, or if you draw a line beyond this coordinate here, you will lose marks because you are not plotting the graph between the values of x is minus 2 and plus 2.